like love Cupid made a shot Straight into my heart Now I'm falling fast and my world's expanding Feels like love Even though we're kinda nervous Together we'll be strong I don't know for sure all I know Didn't know what hit me when we started I was shaking electric Trying to stay calm and collected On that summer afternoon We were shining Like a gem in the sunlight We were riding to midnight, yeah You said, do you wanna go out sometime? I said, girl, you're in my mind Oh, me, 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 me Good morning, good morning, you guys. We're here at beautiful Jetwing, Jaffna, in beautiful Jaffna town here in Sri Lanka. But we are spending two nights. I'm here at the rooftop bar looking at this beautiful view of the city. Danusha, my friend, is still back in the room resting. You must be very tired, she understands. But right now, we cannot just wait and just waste these times and just enjoy the view that you're looking at. We actually have a full day plan today. We're going around Jaffna to the entire town on a motorcycle. And we're just so excited to take you with us on this adventure. So stick around and we'll see you there. My very good friend Danusha is finally awake. And now we're heading to our adventure for today. We're taking a tuk tuk from downstairs and we're picking up the bike. And we'll see you as we explore Jaffna today on a motorbike. Nice. And yep, Danusha finally awake, we wasted no more time and headed out of our hotel, hopped on a tuk-tuk and finally began this much-awaited adventure of Jaffna. Guys, we're here at Bobby Bicycle Scooter Rental service in Jaffna and this yellow scooter this yellow bad boy is taking us places today so Danish is wearing his <laughs> helmet and we are going around Jaffna Danusha is on the driver's seat as well, as usual, and we are going around Chapna. Let's see you. Morning snack here at Vail Murugan Vegetarian Hotel here in Jaffna. Oh. What, what is this? Wow, okay, okay. And this is fish? Uh, maybe we can know this is vegetarian hotel. Alright, we can, we can try it. And what is that? The roti is yellow, man. Those are. Huh? Then we have some different curries here and some more, right? And yes. This is dal. Yes. And some gravy here. Yeah. Let's have some breakfast. Then. So Danusha is pouring some gravy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Just mix everything, right? Perfect. Yes, and for 
Lewis Knight. Roman. Get this on. This. Some of this. And some of the sambo. Mm. Mm. I can't explain it, but it tastes different. Yeah. Mm. The Nutra said this is spicy potato. This is what? Soya meat. Soya meat. Ah, the one we saw at Cargill's. Yeah. This is a spicy potato inside. We mix it all with these curries and sambor. Mm. Yeah. Now we're asking for some some more. Okay. This it is fresh milk with some tea. Yeah. Okay. With our tummies full and satisfied, yeah, it was the perfect way to start the day and we were ready to conquer this adventure. Getting to Point Pedro was a surreal experience to me. It's not every day you can lay claim that you have been and seen the northernmost point of any entire country. Such a great vibe and all the blue water, whoo I was a happy boy. Point Pedro was a surprise. My energy 
and my spirits were lit that day. Malai Pond here in the northern part of Jaffna. Should I work against the flow, drop in the ocean so endless, reaching for our moments miles above? I just need one. Dive in. This is the Kiri Malai Pond, guys. Here in northern Japan. This looks very refreshing. Do you want to take a dip? We will. Here. And we're going to try this pool, Kiribalai pool here in Japan. Kirimalai Pond. I'm going to take a dip here in this beautiful uh, water here. According to centuries old Hindu legends, the Kirimalai Pond is a sacred spring that holds miraculous healing powers. According to ancient stories, a priest who had his face disfigured to look like a mongoose from a curse was once healed when he started bathing in the waters of Kirimalai. Another legend states that a Chola princess who looked like a horse once bathed in the Kirimalai and was cured. For Janusha and I, we did not necessarily go to Kirimalai with the intent of having something healed. But after taking a dip in its clear and blue waters, my weary body and my spirits were rejuvenated. Kirimalai holds miraculous healing powers after all. You guys, we just had a refreshing bath here at the Kirimalai Pond. How was your bath, Danusha? Superb. Superb, right? Very relaxing. The water was warm. It was like you are in a spa. This place here in Jaffna has a huge Hindu community, Tamil Hindu, right? Yeah. So there's a Koval right in front of us and some temples here in the vicinity of the pond. Local delicacy here in Sri Lanka called palm jaggery, right Danusha? Let's try it. Let's see how Danusha eats it so we'll know how. Sweet. Okay. Oh, it breaks. So you can. Okay, let me try it. Like local caramel. Mm. Here's a little FYI you guys, the usual weather in Jaffna is hot, so that visit and swim at Kirimalai was a much needed rest and refreshing break. And as we continued our ride through the raw and extremely beautiful landscapes of Jaffna. I was filled with feelings of joy, awe, and gratitude to be in a place that has risen from the pangs of its tumultuous past. Karainagar, here we are.
towels on the beach guys you only see this either in India and of course Sri Lanka Yeah. Then Usha, what do you think of our day so far, man? So far, it's really good, man, actually. Yeah? We uh, found so many uh, hidden places, no human touch at all. Yes? In the, this part of Kasadanga Beach. So, this is actually to uh, explore Sri Lanka. What is your favorite so far that we've done today? Uh, I would say uh, all are so good, but Kirimali is a sorry special place. Kirimali is a good surprise to be honest yeah. man. It's a good place to relax. People are friendly, they're welcoming. Yes. Point Pedro does not disappoint as well. I mean you see the northernmost point of the entire island nation. And Casuarina is a very chill, quiet beach. If you just want some time to yourself. And maybe with some loved ones or family. Yeah. Anyway, now we're heading back to Jaffna City to see what else there is to explore in that beautiful place but for now we're looking for something to eat we'll catch you there guys Woo! Our orders have arrived. Of course, they're very popular. Japanese style, Chinese rolls, Faluda for me, and Badam milkshake for Danusha. Would you believe this is just 60 pesos? 400 rupees, 400 rupees, 100 rupees each. A total of 1000 rupees for this entire snack for two people. So, so cheap. Less than three dollars. Wow, we can't wait. Here and 
says no footwear beyond this point so we are leaving our slippers here and we are coming in With Danusha right here waiting with us. So, unique experience, man. Definitely for the huge Tamil Hindu population here in Japan. Tracing its history to as far back as the 10th century, the Nalur Kovil is one of Japan's most significant Hindu temples. The temple has daily pujas or offerings and is open to visitors, however, cameras are not allowed inside the premises. What I can tell you though is that the Koval, adorned with intricate artwork and beautiful designs, is a must-see in Jaffna. The iconic star-shaped Jaffna Fort is an impressive 16th century fortress built by the Portuguese, later occupied by the Dutch, the British, and later even served a crucial role during the Sri Lankan Civil War. Today, it still stands, open to everyone, a shadow of its former glorious construction. However, its walls of stone and corals still carry tales memories and scars that molded Jaffna into what it is today. did well today, big guy. <laughs> Thank you for today. So guys, we're searching for something to eat. We're headed to this local hotel or local restaurant for one last bite of Jaffnan food before we move on. So, we'll see you there when we get there. Guys, nice. Hotel Rolex here in Jaffna. See what they have. We can ask what's still available and cuttlefish, yeah. Dinner. Chicken. Alright. Let's dig it. I don't know Patty, right? So it has some fish and potatoes and some masala. So it's a bit spicy. Of course, it's delicious that we should try it. Guys, we're going to just have dinner. Now we're heading to Cargo to buy a few things and heading back to our hotel to make some very critical planning of our next days here in Sri Lanka. We'll see you there. And that, my friends, is a wrap 
for today's video. If you guys enjoy this content, please consider giving it a like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe to the Wandering Kid channel. Thank you, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Cheers!